So in this demonstration we're going to look at the relationship between two categorical variables using the concept of, of pivot table in Excel. In other circles you might be re referring to this as a cross tabulation or a contingency analysis and associating with this uh, uh, chi-squared analysis. But in Excel it's, it's in generally known as a pivot table. And let's just see what that's all about, looking at the relationship between two categorical variables. I'm particularly in interested today in looking at the relationship between the sector that the uh, position was advertised, so I'm just going to highlight that, and the location of that position, whether it's in Sydney or not. So these advertised positions, looking at the sector, whether it's in marketing or management or accounting, and the location, whether it's in Sydney or not, and whether there's a relationship between those two variables. So what I might do is just for simplicity is just select those columns that I'm not really interested in and just hide them away. And I'm just going to hide the team and the communication skills, just hide them away. They're still there and you'll see that they are there. Um, and I'm going to insert now my uh, pivot table. So we go insert, pivot table, there is a pivot chart, but let's go pivot table. Now just double check that it's selected the data properly. So it's running from A1 to L381. Notice A1, notice in row uh, 1 I should say, is the variable names. That's quite important for a, a pivot table. And it's getting up that to that last observation which is in row 381. It's got all the rows, got all the columns. Let's click on existing worksheet. You can put this in a new worksheet and play with it around, around with it quite a lot. But for today's purposes, let's put it in the existing worksheet. And I'm just going to place this into uh, just to the side here into N3. And so when I generate my pivot table, that's where it's going to start from. So let's press OK. Now it brings up this um, this little uh, box and, and interactive menu that we can deal with. And it says pivot tables. So let's, let's start playing around with this to look at the relationship between sector and geography. What I'm going to do is, is select on sector and I'm going to drag that into the row. And it's, you notice here it started to put down the rows in the, into the column into the column that's going to describe uh, sector and I'm then going to grab the geography whether it's located in Sydney or not and I'm going to put that in the columns and now we've started to develop our cross tabulation or this pivot table. Now we've got to populate that table with the particular observations. So I'm going to grab the observations it could be any variable but observations generally the one we could use and I put that into this last box here that says Sigma values place that in, notice what it's done there is it's some of the observations. Now when we're doing cross tabulations and contingency analysis in particular, we're interested in the joint frequency counts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click down the drop box that says sum of observations. I'm going to click on value field settings and I'm going to change it. Instead of looking at the sum of the observations, I'm going to look at the count of those observations. And let's just see what happens to the table once we do that. Press OK. Now all of a sudden it's distributed those 380 observations into the joint outcomes that describe the sector and the location of the position. And for simplicity we might just take that table and it, that is still an active uh, pivot table. So what I'm going to do is take that table and start playing around with it and I'm going to get rid of the fact that it is a pivot table and just deal with it in terms of text. So I'm going to copy and paste those values so it's completely text and I'm going to start labeling in a bit more detail. So the row labels refers to the sector, the, we had management, we had marketing, uh, a three in the data represents accounting, finance, economics and other. And in our column, that column represents whether it the, the location of the position whether it's non-Sydney, not located in Sydney, or whether it's Sydney-based position. And we can just make those columns a little bit wider and see what's going on there. And now we have our cross tabulation between the, the um, variable sector and where it's located. And we can say that, for instance, there were 29 positions that were in accounting that were based in Sydney out of the um, total Sydney-based positions, there were 269 Sydney-based positions out of the entire 380. And that 
something else that we can highlight in um, a pivot table is that you can actually change the display that's being used by right clicking. So you can show the values for instance as the percentage of a whole lot of different things. One of the things that might be useful to you is to show it as a percentage of the grand total and you can see now that's all in percentage form rather than in um, absolute frequency count. But depending on whether you're using a cross tabulations or continuous analysis those might suit one for the other. So hopefully that's shown you the way in which a pivot table is done in Excel and this is uh, quite useful for the use of cross tabulations looking at the relationship between two categorical variables.